Welcome to VNC Pocket Office Get Connected tutorial. In this tutorial it is assumed you have a PC or a Mac you wish to connect to, a VNC server running on that computer and you know the IP address of that computer you wish to use. Also that you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch and a local network. Let's start the VNC program and pick one of the default options, the Wi-Fi. As most of the settings are set to the optimum default, the only setting you really have to change here is the IP address. If you are using an iPhone over a 3G network, you will have to put in the IP address given to you by your internet service provider. Unlike a local IP address, this IP address may change every time you connect unless you have a static IP address issued to you by your internet service provider. To find your IP address, go to whatismyip.com on the computer you wish to connect to. The port setting is the default VNC port setting and you shouldn't need to change this. You need to enter, however, the password that you have set on your VNC server on your host machine. The password is saved as default. The encoding should be left as it is. Set host is a Mac, as we're using a Mac as our target machine in this instance. We're running Vine server on the Mac, so we don't need to set remote Mac. You only set that if you're using the inbuilt VNC server on your Macintosh. The rest of the settings can be left unchanged. All you need to do now is to go to connect, to connect to your remote machine. And there we are, connected to your remote Mac. The first time you run VNC Pocket Office, it will come up with the Help menu displayed on the screen. You can turn this function off. If we now go to the Utilities menu, we can disconnect from this session. A smiley face now appears next to our default connection settings to show you we have connected successfully.